We just bought an abandoned cabin that is attached to our land, and this is our first week working on it. Let's roll. This is gonna be the best day ever. This is gonna be the best day ever. Jilly Jack 1509 said, you need to burn that cabin to the ground now. There is so much mold and water damage. Wow, look at the sun on the lake. We made it, girls. Wait, where's your mom? Jazzy! Stuck. Oh, we are dead. What? You guys are so happy. What an absolutely peaceful commute. That was so nice. But as you can see, that trail needs a little bit of maintaining. We're gonna have to pull it back a little bit so that way the Clementine can actually get through without scratching her. And then of course take care of that fallen tree and the divot that the tractor actually got stuck in. One of the very first things we showed you at the abandoned cabin was Dave's room. Dave's still not a good look. So we're gonna take care of it and squash her. <laughs> a lot of you had so many great suggestions what we have to do out here and we'll get into that soon but this has got to go because there is nothing about this that we want jonas a malote 8866 said first of all burn that outhouse to the ground don't even touch it just throw a match in it and stand back with buckets of water in case it spreads okay let's do it maybe a little bit more safer as for the cabin, better rebuild it on higher ground, just like a few people are saying. Who knows what the heck the weather and the sea levels are gonna do in our lifetime. Plus, most of that wood is already up from the water damage. As for the cement foundation leftover, I would consider building a non-service old school forest lookout tower using the foundation as a base. I'm sure the view in the trees across the lake would be amazing. Airbnb, question mark, LOL, comma. Wanna get stock 24 seven? Just keep it for yourselves, family, friends, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> I love this comment. This is so funny. Also, edited comment. They clearly had lots of thoughts. Let's get to it. We're on the same page, Jonas. Are you ready? Hold my coffee. I got no house to squash. <laughs> I don't even know who sings that. I think it's the only country song I know. As you all know, where Dave Room sits, where Dave's room sets is the most elevated, one of the most elevated parts. And so getting rid of this is just going to kind of give us an idea of what we've got to play with here. And that's a hint on what's to come in this property. And there's gonna be many more of those in this video. And at the end, comment on what you think that we're gonna be doing here first. We do have big dreams and I have to say, thank you all so much for commenting on the first video. We got so many good tips and so many good ideas. We read every single one. Dave's gotta go. Dave's gotta go. Demolition! Good job, Clem. We should keep Dave's room sign. Where is it? Oh. Let's keep it. It's like it was meant to be. It lives on. Keep pile. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that roof. That wasn't even me, I don't think, really. That just dilapidated so easily. And now for the best part. We are so excited. It's finally here! The moment you've all been waiting for, the pack merch is now live. You can have it starting today, December 3rd, until December 16th. 10 working days, it is a drop, and after that, it is no longer available. So get your hands on it, or your paws. We haven't been able to take these off. These are the most comfortable, cozy, high quality hoodies, t-shirts, and caps. We thought of everyone with our three designs and lots of colors. Look at them all! Up first, the Shapes hoodie. Jazzy's wearing the Bella and Izzy design. The classic cabin design. The pack hat. I can't take it off. It is so comfortable. It literally molds around your head. The embroidered, the pack. It's the perfect shade of brown. The metal clasp. We know we've been teasing you wearing it all summer, <laughs> but that's because we have perfected the merch drop. 
From day one, from our very first video, the pack came out of Jasmine's mouth and it has grown from the four of us into this incredible worldwide community. I am so grateful for all of you and I am so proud to be a part of the pack and to be able to wear this around. Retweet. Don't know how it came out of my mouth, but it clearly was meant to be. So don't forget, this is only available exclusively from December 3rd until the 16th. Go to vanwives.com or the link will be in the description as well as our YouTube store. Love you, Pac! Love you, Pac! Because we wanted this to be absolutely perfect for all of you, it may not get to you in time for the holidays. But that's okay because we made something that you can send or you can print, put in a card, in a gift. That way they know that their pack merch is on the way. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We cannot wait to chat with you all about the new merch. The hole. No culvert, no nothing, eh? Look at that view though. From right here, you have the lake. If the cabin wasn't there, you'd have a river view. Wow. Yeah, this is the spot. So you're saying you want to live on top of poo? <laughs> I'm so happy we're starting this now, especially because we're having such a great start to the winter. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't plan on this. Yeah, this is wild. I had no idea that we'd be out here this early on. I thought maybe it'd be next Let's... spring, but I'm super happy to be here. We did it. Now it's time to say toodaloo, outhouse. There's truly nothing I love more than an exciting and new project, and it's very obvious that all of you are so excited too. And I just think there's gonna be so much good to come from this beautiful spot. It's so hard to believe that we're here and we're actually getting started. I have like so many fun and exciting and nervous feelings inside to be finally doing it. And like I said, there is no timeline. We are taking our time with this and we wanna do everything right the first time. Well, the second time, AKA that's the first time. <laughs> You're probably wondering what the goal is here. If you don't already know, we are making a keep pile, which is probably not gonna be as big as we'd like it to be, and a burn pile. Essentially a lot of this scrap wood and wood that we won't be using, we can burn. It is not wildfire season at the moment, and there is open burns. This is a great way to take care of material like this. We will also have a pile of things that cannot be burnt obviously that we will then take care of once we have enough of it to actually go there you go <laughs> an absolute staggering number of you said to burn it down and i can tell either you grew up in the country or somewhere we're all because although that is a great solution we are gonna take some of the parts out of the cabin here and try to reuse them, like the windows. If we can't use them, our neighbors can or someone will. So we'll get there eventually. Everyone say bye, Dave! Are you contributing to the fire, Bella? As you can see over here in this area, there's tons of debris. We need to clean this up. There is all kinds of stuff going on over here. That is a man-made pile of brush. Humongous pile, by the way. Like, we're gonna have to burn all that and get it off the forest floor. This clearly came down in a windstorm, so we're gonna take care of that first with the chainsaw. Sparky. That is such a nice sound. I think this tree is dead. But, can you all confirm, please? Sounds hollow. One step at a time. I didn't take long at all. It's all clear, eh? I love it. And look, we get to keep that. Yeah, we found a stump in all of it. To make kindling. Love it. The outhouse is getting its own blackwood siding. Check it out. You see it? <laughs> Working outside, hands. Oh! That's chilly. <laughs> like polar plunge worthy? Yeah.
Mm. R.I.P. Dave Drum. <laughs> Good night, Clementine. Her first ever sleepover. I'll miss you. See you there. This is my favorite trail. It is so silent on these boards. Taking them for a little burn. That way, we can get to work and our supervisors can be super happy. Taking a moment to stop stare and listen to the river. Wow. Hi Clementine! How was your sleepover? Hi wife! Hi. Bella! Happy girl! I didn't think I'd be at this stage so early. <laughs> Give a wah! Give a wah! <laughs> Give <laughs> Definitely below the frost line. <laughs> we have our three piles. As you all know, so much of this cabin is not salvageable. This is fairly obvious. Friends, family, neighbors, I know you're all pretty handy. Might have a thing or two here for ya. We're salvaging what we can here for the rebuild, but this is also a treasure pile. Can my stick go in the keep pile, Mom? Of course, Bella. You didn't think we'd burn the whole outhouse, did ya? Keep! Okay, let's address this. Chris Bocker, 2255. Your thoughts on moving the cabin is spot on. There is too much moisture and you will always be battling that if the cabin stays there. With that in mind, building a new cabin on higher elevation and possibly on a platform Trying to use some of the old cabin to rebuild would make a great project. Can't wait to see what you do. Thanks, Chris. These are some beautiful two by six pressure treated lumber. Can I hear a keep? Keep. <laughs> Cleaning up this land and making these piles is super important, especially before winter, because you just don't want anything to rot anymore. So by making these piles, we'll know what we need to cover, what we don't need, and Beautiful two by six lumber won't just be sitting under a deck in a moist environment and rotting away. I see barbecues in our future. I'm super glad we're doing all of this organizing and putting everything in piles because when we do get to taking care of the cabin, all of these things will be out of the way and we'll already know what needs to go and what we're gonna keep. And the rest will just be, who knows, maybe a teardown. Keep. I'm just standing here observing the scenery. These trees right here are so stunning. I love this property. The lake, I'm just looking at it. I know we're taking this in together. It's just like every time I come down here, I'm like, wow, it's just so special. There's a reason we brought Clementine down here. So let's put her to work. We are making big moves. Keep. Keep. <laughs> Straight up trash. This beautiful clock came with our abandoned cabin. And I said I was going to give it to one of you. And turns out a lot of you want this clock. So we're gonna play a little game here. All clock comments, everyone. Oh, this person wants the clock and the lamp. <laughs> okay, here is the winner. Deb9008 said, save the stove, stove pipes and the lamp maybe, the windows, sink, the cubicle items and lumber. Torch the rest. That sounds fun. You do not want to put money into a place that floods. You're pretty smart. Plus the place does not have good bones. Good luck girls. P.S. I like the lamp and the clock, lol. Stay safe and healthy from Deb in South Dakota. Deb, please email us at hello at vanwives.com and we will get you the lamp and the clock. I'm risking my life for you, Deb. <laughs> nice. Is this the lamp you want? She's a beauty. Up? I'm gonna need tools for that one. Can I just give you the clock, Deb? Like, it's all good. <laughs> New pile in the truck. I don't know if any of you have been on eBay, but if you type that clock in on eBay, you can get yourself one. Not for free though. Snowdrop 489. 
Congratulations, this is so exciting. Maybe you guys could salvage the doors, windows, and some of the things that are not so moldy. Tear down the cabin, but leave the foundation as a sort of deck, tanning, barbecue, chill area. Then build a tiny home or a cabin or a treehouse a bit further inland so it is not on the water or near the water when there is flooding. Whatever you two decide, it will be amazing. Sending love from South Africa. Well, Snowdrop489, thank you so much because just like you, so many other of our pack have said that this foundation is good. So, we shall keep it. Thank you. Thank you. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We've never worked with cement. Okay, should we go in there? Yeah, there's lots of goodies in there. We already know this doesn't work, right? No, I haven't tried. Put it in the tribe pile. Or like, um, we don't really need one, so we can give it to the neighbors. <laughs> oh yeah, give it away. I mean, it would be a nice toy for Bella. <laughs> Got a noisy, they said! It will be fun! Okay, idea is, it's really cold in there. We're gonna go hammer time, like Lunette the Clown, and get everything out here, and then sort it. Nice. Anyone home? Not gonna lie, you all, I'm a little bit nervous to come in here. I know there's critters. I just know it. Yeah, here we go. Wish me luck. A lot of you, I am absolutely shocked right now, knew about this. Todd Mills 801 says HMCS Chignetico, not sure if I'm saying it right, was a minesweeper. She was built in 1958 and decommissioned in 98, I think. That cabin is a beautiful spot. A lot of you, like I'm shocked. I'm just, I searched the comments. There are tons of comments about this life ring. Very cool. Where are you going with that? We've got the perfect structure that needs this. To put this on? No, it needs this. Okay, cool, good, let's go. What's so cool about having an abandoned cabin on YouTube is that it's not just the people who bought it brains thinking about everything, but it's everyone's brain. All 400,000 people that have seen this video right now commenting what they think about everything. Can this come back to the cabin? I love that. This is so neat. They were just saying the rescue ring from 1953 to 1998 during the Cold War for the Royal Canadian Navy. Um, like what a find to find in the bottom of the cabin. So See, cool. we would have never known that without all of you. So I just think it's so cool. So thanks y'all. Majority of all of you said to burn this cabin down to the ground. But a lot of you also said that we should keep this cabin, but put it on piers like they do in the Florida Keys and other various places around the world. Marilyn Cook 658 said, if I own that property, I would keep the location of the cabin because of the view, the big trees and the merging river. Dr. Bill Abel said, from an old time homesteader, if the bones of the cabin are still good, you might consider jacking up the house four feet to ensure you are above high water using concrete blocks to bring the foundation level up. Thank you, Marilyn. And Dr. Bill Abel. So, we're gonna try to get to the bones. And while I do agree the view and the trees and the merging river are great, going back when they built this cabin, this was a safe place to put it. However, however many years later, it is no longer a good place. So what I've learned is that you need to account for years to come, 10 to 20 years. What is it going to look like? I think I already know what the bones are gonna look like based on the subfloor and the roof, the puddle of water right beside me, but this is just to make you all happy. And me a little, I think. I'm quite enjoy this stuff. Wow, easy. There's gonna be a lot of salvageable wood, I think. That's behind the wall. Look how wet it is, eh? That's wet. That's why you're gonna have a keep pile and a trash pile. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, for the first time ever, I kind of wanna keep that wood. All that wood is beautiful and it's real wood and I don't think it's like really not, you know, maybe some of it's going, but not all of it. This is so pretty. It ain't so pretty behind it though, Crystal. Some of it. Those are good. Those are bad. All right, girl, get a hammer, get a tripod. Let's get going. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, that's what we uncovered. It's very wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of these pieces from this wall, moldy. And even if they're not entirely moldy, they do all have black mold on them in some way, shape, or form. They also just stink. Yeah. However, I've been going at this wall. That wall is probably more salvageable. Yeah. Be useful for something. We'll have our own tornado wood pile here. Oh gosh. I want to be a demoer forever. All right, well, looks like we uncovered a lot of mystery in that abandoned cabin. This wall is a complete write-off. Mold everywhere. The inside walls seem to be decently okay. Few spots of black mold, but, and the floor, I almost went through it again. I forgot there was a hole in the floor and I went to go walk ham and I almost fell. But yeah, that's the bones. That's what it looks like. Definitely can get some material out of that, but let's cue another comment here, everyone. Lana Shay 6613 said, as a person who lives in Nova Scotia and live by a river, I wouldn't do anything with that cabin because of the flooding. I have been flooded out and it is so scary. You are powerless when it happens. Nova Scotia has such small lakes that even if we get three days of rain, the water levels change drastically. Like all of a sudden there's water up to this cabin. So. Over the years, water has flooded this cabin every single spring. Like we said, we bought it for the 10 acres, not the cabin. I love the view, I love it all, but we have something different up our sleeves for this cabin. Don't forget to comment below what you think we're gonna build here. <sighs> I'm so excited about this project. I can't wait to get started. She's a beauty. I actually think rivers are my favorite body of water. Everyone just take in this sound. It's so peaceful. Sorry, ocean. Tell them, Bear. Remember, don't forget to head to vanwives.com to get your very own The Pack merch. <laughs> Bella's telling you. I'm so excited to see you all in your merch. Thank you again for the last four years for supporting us and showing up each and every Sunday, leaving comments, engaging, and just being the number one pack in the world. Love you, pack. Love you, pack. Let's all howl, ready? You guys too! Ah. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>